The basics of both types of diabetes are the same. When your body digests food, it sends energy to your cells in the form of glucose or blood sugar. Normally, the levels of glucose in your blood are controlled by a gland in your body called the pancreas. It makes insulin, which moves sugar out of the bloodstream into the cells. If the body doesn't make insulin or doesn't make enough, your digestive system dumps more and more sugar into the bloodstream and it has nowhere to go. It builds up in the blood and it causes life-threatening problems and that's diabetes. Now here's the difference. Type 1 diabetes is a malfunction of the pancreas. It no longer can make insulin and it usually shows up early in life. This is your bloodstream. In type 1 diabetes, the cells that make insulin are somehow destroyed. But your digestive system still does its job and puts energy into the system in the form of glucose. Normally, insulin would tell the bloodstream to dump that glucose into the cells to give it energy. If your body makes little or no insulin, the sugar sits in the bloodstream and clogs up the works, and you're diabetic. Type 2 diabetes is something you usually get later in life. Although we're not really sure of the cause, excess weight, diet, and a strong family history are some of the biggest risk factors for getting type 2 diabetes. Over time, the cells in your body become resistant to the actions of insulin. You no longer respond to insulin the way you normally would. Different cause, but in the end, the same problem. Here's another difference. Type 2 diabetes can actually be prevented. If your doctor tells you that you have pre-diabetic symptoms, you could actually halt the progression into full-blown diabetes through diet and exercise. For a step ahead, I'm Dr. Anthony Cardillo.